My name is Spencer, I'm co-founder of Live Bearded, and I'm here to give you handlebar mustache trimming and style advice. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do before any trimming starts is style your mustache. So you wanna grab your mustache wax, and the whole idea behind mustache wax is not to glue your mustache to your lip. You really just wanna move the hairs and shape it. So less is more sometimes, and I personally like to kind of start in the middle and really just apply this on like chapstick and work your way to the outsides. Now, I personally like to, as I'm applying and moving towards the outsides, I kind of roll as if you're almost snapping your fingers. What this is gonna do as you apply your wax is really train the hairs to grow kind of away and up. They're kind of rolling as you're moving to the outsides. Throw a little wax on there. And the reason you want to apply your wax before you trim is so you can really see what your mustache looks like on a daily basis. And obviously, as you're, if you have a handlebar mustache, you're using wax every single day. Keep it shaped, keep it out of your mouth and looking great. So you want to apply your wax so that you trim only the hairs that you need to and not anymore. So a quick little style there. Get those moved away. Now once you have the wax in your stash, move the hairs over. That's when the real fun begins. So for me personally, I start right in the middle. And really all you're trying to do is, is you have these hairs that grow a little uneven. They kind of get, get in the way. What you want to do is really just get some clearance right at the lip line. So for this part of the stash trim, I like to use the clippers and really start right in the middle and work your way to the outsides. Now, one thing to be mindful of is you don't want to take this line too far out to the outside. You need these hairs here to grow long to obviously give you the handlebar shape, but it's just these middle hairs that you wanna clean up and form that line to really bring the stash in to a little bit uh, more of a uniform shape. And so it's a really just about the width of the, the tip of your nose is usually a pretty good guide. So again, start in the middle, kind of work your way out. And again, when it comes to any trimming at all, less is more, right? Start small. You can always take a little bit more off. And really just any of these hairs, a lot of what you're trimming is just these hairs under here. And the goal again, straight line across. So if you kind of just put it over, and brush it to the outside. So if you have some hanging out a little bit lower that aren't long enough to flip up, you can extend that line out a little bit. Just be mindful, because these hairs on the outside, again, is what's gonna give you the thickness for the actual handlebar shape on the ends. All right. Pretty straightforward there. Next up for me personally, I usually attack the ends. Now, with the ends, you're gonna want a little more precision, so I recommend using some scissors. Don't go into your kitchen and grab just some big shears. You wanna use some actual scissors with a little bit more precision there. And really, all you're looking to do is to even out the ends. And if you can see here, the hairs are gonna grow, obviously, at a little different rate. So the, the idea here is to get a straight across blunt cut at the end. It's gonna bring these down to one length. It's gonna give you the tips, the ends of your mustache, a little bit fuller appearance, and then obviously even out left and right side. The one thing you wanna avoid is trying to make these absolutely perfect. Um, use your eye test, get them close, but don't play this back and forth game where you take it down and this side goes a little shorter and you're, you're going back and forth or you'll end up taking off more length than you really need to. So I really, with the wax in there, obviously they're kinda of rolled up and twist the ends a little bit. And really all you're trying to do, if you're not looking to take any length off, you can see if you just go straight across how much wider the tip is, a little bit fuller look to the handlebar versus got some scragglers out there on this side. And 
And that's usually about all I do. Obviously, you can play with the length, take it shorter if you want, just find the right length for you. And that's pretty much it for the ends. This one's a little longer. This is what you don't want to do. Don't go back and forth a million times trying to get them perfect. Kind of easier, just the eye test. You can grab the ends, kind of pull them out. Good to go. Now this last step is probably one that most beardsmen don't, don't do or aren't aware of, and that's really defining separation from your mustache to your beard. And there's really one simple trick to do that, and that's trimming these beard hairs shorter so that your mustache almost sits on top of your beard. So what you wanna do is grab your mustache hair so that all the hair is growing on your actual lip, kind of the side of your mouth here, and pull those up and away. And any of these hairs on the side that grow in, those are beard hairs. And when your mustache grows, grows out and these beard hairs grow out, oftentimes they blend right together. So you actually don't get any separation. A lot of guys say they can't pull off a handlebar mustache because their mustache grows right into their beards and it all kind of blends together. So if you separate it, pull it out, and then take your scissors. Now mine are already kind of on the short side because I keep it fairly trimmed, but it's all these hairs here that aren't mustache hairs, but that grow in and blend into the stash. So really you just wanna trim these down a little bit right around the stash area. And again, what this is gonna do is just allow these hairs to kind of sit on top really give you that separation and really define your mustache quite a bit more. We definitely want to take your time here. Just take a literally just kind of the tips at first. You could always take a little more off. Now, I just kind of do this by hand with my scissors, pull them out so I know exactly what hairs I'm grabbing. Again, keep the main stash kind of separated and any of these that grow into it, I'm just trimming them down a little bit. So that's what's really gonna give you the separation so that the only long, truly long hairs are what's blending into the stash. Do that on the same side. Excuse me, the other side here. Just pull those hairs away. And just that little bit gives you that real separation you're looking for. So pretty straightforward. Um, again, the key with the mustache wax is not to glue your stash to your lip, just to kind of shape it a little bit, give it form, keep it out of your mouth. Um, use the clippers on this bottom line. You want to create a, you want to create just a straight line across. And then really beyond that, scissors on the ends. Just takes a couple of minutes. Keep your mustache looking great. If you haven't grown out a handlebar mustache because you feel like you can't, I challenge you to do it. I think everyone should at least try it once. Follow these steps. We're here along the way. If you have any questions or need anything, brother, reach out to support at Live Bearded anytime. We've got your back no matter what. So happy growing, and as always, Live Bearded, brother. Mm -hmm.